Notice as you get more comfortable, others will get more comfortable. If you talk about sex, and you, like sex is normal, and you feel that it's normal and healthy and beautiful, people will talk to you about it like it's normal. Who's been working with... He has a lot of sexual shame, right? And you, they've been doing a lot of talk, asking him what he likes, what kind of sex, uh, experiences he wants to have, that kind of stuff. And he's starting to uh, drop it all and slowly a little bit of time with a little bit of encouraging so that's basically any what you guys are going to do anybody that has that sexual shame i want you to start talking about what you like about sex what your experiences you want to have i want you to be honest about it start opening up in this area anything that embarrasses you a lot around sex is something you want to talk about or explore and don't be afraid to talk about it with these guys i'm inviting you guys to set yourself free of what people think of you in this area i mean you saw how he just lit right up right it's like bam there it was that's what you want to do. Set yourself free. Notice as you get more comfortable, others will get more comfortable. If you talk about sex, and you, like sex is normal, and you feel that it's normal and healthy and beautiful, people will talk to you about it like it's normal. Because the, you'll, even people that are normally uncomfortable will suddenly say, well, this doesn't bother this guy. I can talk to him about it. You set them free. If you talk about it with fear and reservation, you'll put fear and reservation in people, and they'll back up from you. This is where creepy comes in. Creepy comes in because you are weird inside about it, and then they feel that and they get creeped out. It's an indifference to outcome. Do I like you? What's beautiful about you? What do I like about you? Let me enjoy you for a minute and see what else I like about you. We're all sexual beings. We're all sexual human beings. That's part of being human. Okay? And you gotta stop apologizing for enjoying sex and liking sex.